Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Coach Craig's Sports. Today is Wednesday, June 15th, and this is the MLB DFS video for today. So in today's video, we'll be taking a look back at yesterday's picks, seeing how they turned out, talking about my core plays for today's FanDuel main slate. I believe it's a nine-game main slate overall. And then going over to my article over at webetetscom and talking about my top GPP stacks for the FanDuel main slate as well. But without further ado, we'll get started with a recap of yesterday's picks at the pitcher position. We had Nick Pavetta, $9,300, got to 40 points, so he was a hit yesterday. Anytime we're getting to 40 points out of a pitcher, it's going to be a hit. Although there was some pretty good pitching on yesterday's slate. Then at first base, we had Jose Abreu, $2,900. Got to six points, so he was a push. Had the massive day the day before. Was unable to repeat, even though it was pretty much a bullpen game for the Detroit Tigers yesterday. Then we had Freddie Freeman, other first baseman or utility, just kind of depending on which place you played these guys at. $3,500, got to 9.2 points. So I did give him a hit as well, since he was over that nine-point threshold. Then we had Harold Castro, $2,200. Cheap paydown option, got to 12 points, so he was a good hit there, especially due to his price tag. And then last but not least, we had Teoscar Hernandez at $2,500. Got to three points, so we did give him a push yesterday. So not the greatest day in the world yesterday, but not a bad day. So if you had some other decent plays to go along with these guys, you probably did pretty well. But overall, yesterday was a pretty high-scoring day, so a little bit more difficult to cash than on other days. But with that being said, we'll get moved over to my core picks for today. So we're going to start off at the pitcher position. I'm going to start off by saying I'm not like overly impressed with a lot of pitchers today. I think Nestor Cortez is maybe one of the safest ones today, but he does come at a pretty steep price tag of $10,500, averaging just under 38 fantasy points per game on the season. So you see that kind of safety there as he's almost up there towards that 40 points. He goes against the Tampa Bay Rays today. He's got pretty good history versus them in the past, so definitely has some interest in Nestor Cortez today. Then we move down to first baseman Paul Goldschmidt, been on a tear as of late, $3,800, averaging almost 15 fantasy points per game on the season. That may be the highest of any regular position player at this point in time. Goes against the Pirates today, it's Rosani Contreras, he doesn't really have history against him at this point in time, but he's been very, very hot as of late, so I would not be surprised if that continues today. Then we move down to second baseman Glaber Torres, $2,900. Not that I'm particularly fond of attacking Shane McClellan today, but Glaber Torres he is 6 for 10 with one home run versus him in his career. So there is some pretty good upside there, averaging over 9 fantasy points per game on the season. He's also one of those guys we got to make sure that he's actually in the lineup as we do get closer to locks, and sometimes he's in the lineup, sometimes he's not. But I would expect him in the lineup once again today. If that does change, I'll list that down in the comments below throughout the day. And then we'll move down to our outfielders. As you see here, we have two Braves outfielders. Adam Duvall is the first one. $2,600. He's 7 for 15 with two home runs versus Eric Fetty, the Washington Nationals starting pitcher today so some pretty good upside there and then the second one's Marcel Zuna $2,700 for some reason averaging about nine fantasy points per game on the season and he's six for nine with two home runs versus Eric Fetty so both these guys have great history versus Eric Fetty and offer a ton of upside at a reduced price tag but with that being said, if you go with these five players that I do have listed here, you have $12,500 remaining, just over $3,100 per player. So looking more like a balanced build type of day, maybe you can pay up for one other player and then pay down at a different position. Or if you want to like pay down it from Nestor Cortez, take a little bit more risk at pitcher or pay down for Paul Goldschmidt, you could definitely do that as well. But with that being said, we'll get moved over to my article over at webetets.com and talk about my top GPP stacks for today. So the ones that I do have at this point in time are the Toronto Blue Jays going against Bruce Zimmerman. You know, they don't have a ton of history versus him. Bruce Zimmerman had a nice start to the year, and then he kind of faded off since then, so some blow-up potential there once again. Blue Jays obviously have a pretty good offense overall, so definitely a lot of interest there. Then we have the Boston Red Sox going against James Caprillion of the Oakland A's. They hit him pretty well the last time they faced him. J.D. Martinez, Alex Verdugo were the top two guys. In terms of that, but you could also chase some other guys like Trevor Story, Xander Bogarts, different options there. Frankie Cordero, if you really want to go there as well as he should get the start today. Um, definitely a lot of different options there. And then we move over to the Atlanta Braves, as you see, like in my cheat sheet. Atlanta Braves are scattered everywhere because this is against Eric Fetty, Washington Nationals pitcher. Not the best, likely to give up some runs. A lot of these guys had really, really good history versus some Adam Duvall, Marcelo Zuna, Dansby Swanson, Austin Riley, and then obviously Matt Olson could have some upside as well at a reduced price tag at first base as well. And then last but not least, we have the Colorado Rockies going against the Cleveland Indians and Connor Plinkington. Left-handed pitcher should favor some of these Rockies bats. It's also at Coors Field, so could offer some upside there, but probably going to be a pretty popular stack overall. I'm not sure any Rockies actually made it into my cheat sheet just because none of these guys have faced Plinkington before, but definitely could be some upside there today. 
But with that being said, these are my core five picks as well as top GPP stacks for today, June 15th. As always, if you have any questions related to MLB DFS, be sure to leave them down in the comments below and I'll get back to you as quickly as possible. Also, be sure to let me know your favorite play on today's slate, whether it's someone from my core five, whether it's someone from my top GPP stacks, or whether it's a completely different player you guys think I missed. Definitely interested in hearing what you have to say. But with that being said, if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Definitely would appreciate it. Helps to build the community that we're trying to build here at Coach Craig Sports, which is one that's truly for the viewers, helping you with your DFS, whether it's MLB or USFL. Those are the two main ones at this point in time. But once we get back around to the NFL and NBA regular seasons, I'll be covering those two sports as well. And then with that being said, if you are a new or current subscriber who's yet to do so, also be sure to hit that notification bell down below. It's going to let you know every single time I post up a new video. Like I've been saying, I post up daily MLB DFS videos just like this. But with that being said, that's all I have for today's video. Hopefully you all enjoyed. And then last but not least, special shout out to each and every one of you watching today's video. I truly do appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch this video. Definitely means a lot to me, and I hope each and every one of you has a great rest of your day.